Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn infinite scrolling pagination using Next.js 14 and the server actions. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here we go with the new window and let's go with the next project, Next.js. And here I'm going to create a new project in VM use no 20 okay and then we will go with the create next app so create next app create next app click on it first just copy the first one go over there infinite scrolling You want to load with TypeScript? No. Source directory? Yes. App router? Yes. So it will create my project. Now it's done. Okay, let's go to uh, infinite scrolling. Open the code base. Okay, so here we are going to create actions first and infinite scrolling where it is source app we have to create the actions then in the app we have the page.js file okay in the app we have to replace with the page.js file let's have a look of it code base is open right so here you can see the source actions here we are going to fetch the data okay here you can see so here we are using the use server because it is on server side and this is the actions right so here we are calling the api okay that is dummy json so here we have to pass the limit and the page number we are selecting the title and the price so if this api will get from the google so just dummy json.com right if the, now we are going to fetch the api url and whatever response we are we have just we are sending the response in the data okay if something go ro goes wrong it will go to the cache block that error fetching the data okay this is a server action that we have created okay now we have to call this on the on the page that is page.js so here we have using the use client okay use client we have used okay and we have the card component also so let's check the card component this is card component also so we will use this also it's in the app so paste this card component also for the designing stuff so let's run this and pm run dev okay so here we have the data okay here you can see so when I try to just uh, scroll down here you can see that the next data is automatically render okay here you can see so it doesn't show me like it's just like whenever we scroll down automatically the data will render over here okay here you can see that right so the data is ends now 
okay so how we have done this let's dive into the code level okay and if i just reload and here you can see that on the first scroll object is getting on the next array we get it okay then we scroll down here you can see that the next array again get it okay so when i keep on scrolling the new records will fetch and automatically append over here okay so this is that one let's dive check the code okay so here we are using the use effect okay and uh, one more thing that i think what's the card exactly it is so it's an image okay so here we have a use state use effect from the react image i'm not using right now and the fetch products from the actions and the card component card component we will check here we have the image so we are not getting the image right now so let's remove this and uh, don't require the image part now it's here okay so this is the style part where we have the styles card content title and the description okay or we will make it like price whatever we have okay we have a styles so here this is a design for the card whatever design you want to give it then you can give it okay whether we go with the css tailwind css you can add it okay this is card now we go with this one okay so here we have the first of all we have to initialize the states so here we have the data page and the loading okay by default it's empty set a page to be by default one and the loading to be by default false okay so here we have the load more function okay so set is loading true so here we are fetching the data with a page number one and assuming the 10 records step by step okay so here we have set the current page data with the more dot products data okay so whatever we have a current page current data right and whatever we are pulling the data from here okay one page extra okay so we have add this now set the page and set is loading to be false right now whenever we do the scroll okay so whenever there is when we do the scroll so there we will call the method that is load more so what we'll do it will go over here load more right so what it will do it will just increase the one page and call the api and set the data into your current state okay this is the thing like whenever we do the scroll window dot inner height window dot scroll why we will checking and we will call the api with a page number okay next we have a first use effect so when the first time rendering is there we will call the api with a uh, page that is one already uh, in the state it is set and the 10 records we have to fetch okay initial it will go there and set the data okay it, it runs once when the component renders okay <clears throat> now this use effect will run whenever there is a page change so whenever there is a scroll so it will call use effect and uh, hit the api here you can see that whenever there is a scroll so window dot remove listener scroll and is loading page it will go over here okay so here we have sending the params over there so whenever there is a scroll event so it will call okay and hit the api so here this is very simple that we have a data to map with the card key title we have to send okay and if they have the description let's have a look if they have the description or not in the api price or we will check with the description is they are getting the description let me check this so here we have the page.js and uh, let's add the description description equal to item dot description the description is there I think no or oh, yes yeah it's there here you can see the look okay and when I try to scroll this you can see the new data is coming up okay so we have already added the loading more data 
if i just go with this changing the font size it will show me the loading more data okay so this is how you can do the infinite scrolling in the next years 14 with the app router any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day